This is the Coleman Lighted Instant Up North Star four person dark room tent. A quick pitch tent that has an integrated lighting system and a dark room coating on the fly that makes it easier to sleep in in the mornings. I'm gonna show you how to set it up, pack it away. Let's get started. Get it. Hey folks, Ben from Summers here today at the Brown Hill Creek Tourist Park down in Adelaide's leafy eastern suburbs. Nice little stop over to park your caravan or set up your tent if you're passing through the area or just want a weekend getaway. It's right near the Adelaide Hills and only 15 minutes from the city. Got some Coleman products here today. This is the Coleman Lighted Instant Up North Star four person dark room tent. It's a long name. It's got the traditional or the, the Instant Up frame that we've always known. It's got a dark room coating on the fabric that keeps the light out of the tent so it's easier to sleep in when the sun's up or easier to sleep in in the mornings. It also has an extended vestibule out the front. I'm gonna show you how to set it up and pack it away today. This is how it comes, weighs, common say about 15 kilos, but I weigh this one in just under 16. Uh, about 140 centimeters in length by 25 centimeters by 25 centimeters. I'll start by showing you what comes in the bag. So everything in the bag is all secured with a couple of ties here. You get a bag of pegs and all the poles that you need. There's a couple of awning poles in there as well. There's a little gear loft that goes inside the tent for storage. This is a little doormat that can be pegged out at the doorway. You get the battery pack, which is part of the lighted system. This takes four D cell batteries, but you can also use a USB battery pack to power the lights in here. This is the fly sheet. And this bit here is the main portion of the tent, which has got the frame and the inner tent all in as one. First thing I need to do is spread this out and put the pegs in place. If we stand this up so that the hub is um, pointing upwards towards the sky, that's gonna form the peak of the tent. And just unroll the sides and let the legs fall down to the side. We just need to work out where the door is so that we can face our tent the right way. Now there's only one door which I can see is on this side and I want the tent to face that way. So I'm just gonna spin it around and then I'll pull the four corners out and put the pegs in place. So it's good to put pegs in as soon as you can and leave them in for as long as you can at the end in case the wind picks up because it's the wind that can damage the tent. Just on the pegs that come with your, your instant up tent, they're very lightweight pegs. You would benefit from upgrading these to a heavier duty peg if you're using it on really hard ground or if you're using it on soft ground, even some sand pegs. So if we now just step inside the door here, unzip the door if it's not already open and just stand this center hub up and what we want to do is grab each of these legs, find this knuckle and invert them all back the other way. Once you do this on all four poles, you'll see the tent starts to take shape. Once the knuckles are inverted, we go to each leg and we extend it to its full height. We'll know it's extended to the full height when a silver pin appears in this little hole here, locking it in place. So that's the inner tent up. Really easy, it's as quick as simple as that. Now we're gonna grab the fly and throw that over the top. So you just gotta orient the fly the right direction to know what the, or which way, or which side of the fly the front of it is. If we have a look for uh, these plastic knuckles, there'll be two of those on the fly. So we can just find the other one. Now these actually feature in the front, they form part of what will be the pole structure for the, the vestibule at the front of the tent here. So I know that this section here is the front doorway. So we've got the fly sheet roughly in place. Before we put any pegs in place, we just need to secure the fly sheet to the frame. So if we come up underneath here on each corner, so we've got some Velcro tabs. Now these go around the frame here. The top one goes between the knuckle and the first C-clip on the inner tent there. And then if we follow the seam down towards the bottom, there's a second one that goes around the pole just above the, the little locking button on the, on the upright pole there. And then at the very bottom, there is a clip that on these front ones goes over this metal loop here. And on the back ones, there's a little plastic D-loop that that, D -loop, sorry, that that goes around. We do that on all four poles. So then before we put the vestibule up at the front, we just gotta grab a handful of pegs. We've got three pegs on each side to peg out here for this little sort of cone shaped thing here, which forms part of the circle ventilation system to allow ventilation up under here and it marries up with this vent here. Don't peg these too tightly, just firmly. They're not, they're not actually a, a meant to take strain. They're just as meant to sit in place. Then there's one extra peg uh, that goes in the middle of the flight at the rear of the tent. 
So these are all the poles that come separately with your instant up tent. The two with the spigots on the top are for the awning to set it up at the front of the tent. We don't need them just yet. For the vestibule, we need a combination of these three poles. Now the steel ones are uprights for the side. They go in the pin at the bottom of the tent here and then go in the plastic knuckle here. Now there's two sides to this knuckle. One that just has a plain hole, the other one has got ribs in it. The, the larger of the hole is for the steel end. The one with the ribs in it seats this fiberglass pole here, to slightly narrower dimension. This pole gets seated in the sleeve that runs across the top of the vestibule here. And then each end goes into this plastic knuckle. Once we've got the poles in place, there's a plastic C-clip on each side that we need to put around the pole there. And then we grab two pegs at the front here to peg this out and hold it all in place. Now that's pretty much set up in full. The only thing I haven't done today is set up these guy ribs. There's three on each side, one here, one here, and one on the back corner, same on the opposite side. Should always use the guy ropes, peg them out as far away from the tent as you can for stability. They're gonna give the tent much more structure and stability in windy weather. We can go one step further with this setup though and set up this door as an awning out the front here. It has got little brass eyelets in the bottom corners here that can be um, used for the spigots on the top of these tents here. You get a couple of extra guy ropes with your kit as well. So you can set this up as a shaded entry to your instant up tent. And the last few things we haven't talked about for the setup here is firstly the battery pack. You plug that in inside with your batteries in there or use your USB uh, or rechargeable battery pack. The little um, gear loft here, this clips inside. There's plastic clips on the corners here and they clip into little loops in the ceiling. So it creates a little high level sort of storage loft for you to keep gear up and out the way. And then you've got your doormat here that it's got little peg loops in it. So you can just peg that out at the doorway at the front of the tent. And lastly, uh, your ventilation options. And that's these windows here. Now there's three of these windows. The one that features on this side is the same as on the other side, the same at the rear of the tent. You can set these up in one of three ways. Firstly, zip close, as you can see it here. Secondly, if you unzip each side like this, you can use the guy ropes that are attached and peg this out as a little weather protected awning over the top of the, your window. Alternatively, if the weather's really nice and you wanna keep the tent nice and cool, roll it up and secure it with these tabs at the top here to allow ventilation throughout the tent. If you did that on all three sides, plus the door at the front of the tent, you got plenty of ventilation throughout. That's how you set up the Coleman lighted instant up North Star four person darkroom tent. That was pretty easy by myself, didn't take long at all. Pack up is pretty much just as easy. First thing I'm gonna do is take down the awning and the vestibule at the front and then we'll get the fly off. So I've taken down the awning and I've zipped up the door. We'll now remove the frame from the vestibule here. So undo the C-clip, remove the pole from the pin at the base here and then take this pole out of the knuckle. Do the same with a steel pole on the other side and then slide the pole out the top. So now we just gotta go around and pull all the pegs out from the fly. Don't forget to unclip the little clip at the base here and go up underneath here and undo our Velcro tabs. There's two of those on each pole. I'll just pull the fly off and fold this up now and then we can collapse the inner tent. And before we collapse the inner tent down, just make sure you've got a door or a window open to allow the air to escape as the tent collapses down. And first thing we wanna do after that is go around to each of these silver buttons on each pole and lower the tent down. Once we've lowered all four poles down, we need to invert these knuckles. Now I will mention I've left all four pegs in the corners for now, it's calm here today. But if it, if it is windy weather, if the wind picks up, that's the fastest way to damage your tent. If you leave the pegs in place, you're reducing the instance of damage. So now we go to each of these and we invert the knuckles backwards. So the pole collapses down to the floor and then we can take the pegs out. So the next step is to grab each of these corners and fold them up towards the center of the tent. Gathering it all together, try and keep the fabric neat, as nice as you can, as you go. Hardest bit is holding all these together at the top here. Once we've got them all up together, just take a second to try and spread the fabric out a little bit. Make sure it's not caught up on any poles on the inside and then lay the frame down on its side. And once we've got it on its side, we're just gonna take a little bit more time to stretch this fabric or to lay this fabric out flat. What we're trying to do is achieve a bit of a diamond. 
If you spend a bit of extra time doing this now, it's gonna make rolling the tent up so much easier. Once we've got this diamond shape, fold the bottom up as far as it will go. This is the base of the, of the frame here. Grab one side and fold it right over the top of the whole frame. And from there, you can roll it up, grab your ties and put it back in the bag. Now to get everything back in the bag, I do prefer to put the fly sheet in first. Uh, I find it reduces the instance of the fly sheet getting caught in the zip as you try and do it up. So we'll put that in the base, put the tent on top. Now one end of this bag is padded. I like to put the, um, the, the hub or the pole into the bag up there so that it's padded and it's not rubbing against anything in transport. Once we've got that in there, we put the poles, the pegs, and everything else in around the edges and zip it up. Now that went back in the bag easily. The bag's actually sized to fit the tent without too much of a struggle. That is how you set up and pack away the Coleman lighted Instant Up North Star darkroom four person tent. I did that easily by myself. It would be even easier if you had a second set of hands. You can grab these online at snowies.com.au at our lowest prices every day. If you thought that video was useful, subscribe to our channel. We'll send you all of our latest and greatest info. Got any questions, let us know down in the comments below or check out some of our other common internet videos like this one down here.